Fame and fortune don't sit well on everyone's shoulders. Sometimes, being a celebrity can take its toll, and many celebrities reach a tragic end. Here are 10 mysterious celebrity deaths. Stay tuned to find out which dead celebrity people still claim to see. Number 10. David Carradine Famous for his role in some of the most epic kung fu movies, David Carradine was found dead on June 4, 2009. Shooting a film in Bangkok, Carradine was found dead hanging in the closet of his hotel apartment. Since a rope was tied around his neck, wrist, and genitals, it became common belief that the actor's death was a result of autoerotic asphyxiation. It turned out that Carradine was indeed a self-bondage fetishist, and that he practiced all kinds of kinky sexual behavior. Two autopsies were conducted, and both of them concluded that the actor did not commit suicide. But it didn't end there. One year after Carradine's death, his widow Annie said that she filed a lawsuit against the company that produced the film David Carradine was filming when he died. And in June 2010, one of Carradine's ex-wives published a memoir about her life with the actor. In the memoir, she claimed that after Carradine's unfortunate death, she decided to conduct her own investigation. According to her findings, she felt that David Carradine was actually murdered. Number 9. Kurt Cobain On April 8, 1994, Kurt Cobain was found dead in his house. An electrician, Gary Smith, came there to install a security system when he discovered Cobain's body. At first, it didn't seem to the electrician that Cobain was dead. He actually thought that the musician was just asleep, but when he came close, he saw a shotgun pointed towards Cobain's chin and some blood. There was a suicide note, which was addressed to Cobain's imaginary friend from his childhood, and toxicology reports stated that there was a lot of heroin found in his blood. The report from the coroner stated that the death probably occurred three days before on April 5th. But this is where things take on a different turn. After further review, Cobain's suicide note could easily have just been a letter to a fan or friend. And it doesn't clearly state anything about killing himself. There was also another note that his then-wife, Courtney Love, kept hidden for months after his death. And finally, the level of heroin in his blood was extremely high, even for a hardcore addict. As of the recording of this video, Kurt Cobain's death is still suspicious and under investigation. Number 8. Jimi Hendrix After being found unconscious and unresponsive, Jimi Hendrix was taken to a London hospital where he was pronounced dead on September 18, 1970. A post-mortem examination was ordered, and it was concluded that Hendrix died of asphyxia while being intoxicated with drugs. Due to insufficient evidence, the case was closed with an open verdict, meaning that the details surrounding his death could be suspicious. But James Wright, a once manager of Hendrix, said that Mike Jeffrey, who was Hendrix's manager at the time of his death, told him that Hendrix was worth more dead than alive. Mike Jeffrey also took out a $2 million policy on Hendrix. This is why Hendrix's former manager believed that Jimi Hendrix was forcefully killed. Allegedly, large quantities of wine and sleeping pills were poured down his throat and he died as a result of this. Also, the former manager claimed that Mike Jeffrey confessed to killing Hendrix just before he died in a plane crash. I'm not exactly sure how reliable that witness statement is. But another person who also thinks Hendrix was murdered was Dr. John Bannister. He was the one who tried reviving Hendrix in the hospital while the guitarist was dying. He claimed that he had never seen so much wine in a person, and he had already thrown up a lot of it in his room. Number 7. Princess Diana Princess Diana died in an automobile accident on August 31, 1997 in a Paris tunnel. According to the official French investigation that was immediately conducted, the cause of the crash was the driver's loss of control due to drunkenness. But right after the accident, various conspiracy theories started circulating. They involved almost everyone from the MI6 to the British royal family. And although the official verdict in 2008 stated that the whole affair was an unlawful killing, Princess Diana's death is still shrouded in mystery. 
But in 2013, there was new evidence casting different light on the accident. It turned out that MI6 could actually have played a major role in Diana's death, and that it could have been an assassination. It is also believed that the British military was part of the whole plot in a cover-up operation called the Increment. But there is also a theory that the brakes on her car were modified in some way sometime before the accident in which the princess was killed. Finally, there is an eyewitness claiming that right before the accident there was a flash of light in front of the vehicle, maybe like an explosion, and that was what caused the car to crash. Number 6. Marilyn Monroe Marilyn Monroe died in her home on August 4, 1962. She was discovered naked in bed by her housekeeper and psychiatrist. Close to her, there was found a bottle of sleeping pills. During the time before her death, Monroe was hospitalized for various psychiatric problems and she was under long-term medical care. In the end, the official cause of her death was probable suicide, but there have been many rumors ever since. Some claim that Monroe was actually murdered so that she wouldn't reveal secrets about her private life. She had allegedly had affairs with the then-president John F. Kennedy, as well as his brother, Robert Kennedy. These rumors were further solidified in 2014 when new evidence on the subject arose. It turned out that Monroe most likely had romantic affairs with both the president and his brother, and that she may have been abused in these relationships. Even to this day, Marilyn Monroe's death is still the subject of numerous controversies. Number 5. Bruce Lee One month before the release of his new movie, Enter the Dragon, Bruce Lee met in Hong Kong with his producer, Raymond Chow, to discuss an upcoming film called Game of Death. It was July 20th, 1973, and the two men decided to drive to the home of a Taiwanese actress, Betty Ting Pei. When they arrived, Bruce Lee said that he wasn't feeling very well, and he complained about a headache. As the story goes, the actress, Pei, gave him a medicine that was a combination of muscle relaxant and aspirin. Bruce Lee took the medicine, then allegedly went for a short nap from which he would never wake. After the autopsy was conducted, it was announced that the cause of Lee's death was hypersensitivity to the muscle relaxant. The death was ruled as death by misadventure. However, many people refused to accept this as a valid cause of Lee's death. Some speculated that Bruce Lee was a victim of an assassination and that he was killed by one of the triads, a branch of the Chinese organized crime. Even more controversy was added in 1993 when Bruce Lee's son, Brandon Lee, was killed during the filming of the movie The Crow. The younger Lee died while he was filming his character's death scene. During the filming of the scene, he was supposed to be shot with a prop gun filled with blanks, but unfortunately it turned out that there was a live round in it. Number 4. John Lennon on December 8, 1980, as John Lennon was about to enter the New York's Dakota building where he was living with his family, he was approached by Mark David Chapman whom he'd given an autograph to earlier that very same day. Chapman aimed a gun at Lennon and shot five times. Bleeding heavily, Lennon walked a couple of steps to the reception area of the building uttering, I'm shot, and then collapsed on the floor. When he was taken to the hospital though, he was pronounced dead on arrival. His murderer pled guilty and was sentenced to a 20-year imprisonment and has since been denied parole nine times. Over the years, there have been numerous conspiracy theories surrounding Lennon's death. The explanation that Mark David Chapman was just a lunatic wasn't enough for those who understood Lennon's political activism and worldview. According to some, they feel that Lennon was killed by the CIA so that he wouldn't continue giving support to leftists and political radicals. John Lennon had an FBI record and was supposedly being followed for years by government agents. It is also highly suspicious that his murderer, Chapman, pled guilty without any problem. He wanted attention, but in fact missed all the attention and went directly to jail. Number 3. Elvis Presley Elvis Presley died on August 16, 1977, in the bathroom of his home in Memphis, Tennessee. The official cause of death was heart attack, but at the time of his death, Presley's general health was very poor. Among other ailments, he had high blood pressure and liver damage and was also very overweight. So much so that he needed help from his assistant just to move around his home. 
His body had high doses of drugs when he died, 10 times the amount of codeine normally recommended for medical purposes. But there were also other drugs in his body. Presley's overall health condition, as well as his drug use, allegedly contributed to his death. But many people on his estate still believe that Elvis Presley was actually murdered. Some blame his doctor for prescribing him certain pills, while others go even further than that. The British journalist John Parker claims that the Mafia was involved in the whole thing, and that he was the victim of a Mafia fraud that involved billions of dollars, while others believe he was actually an alien and merely went back to his home planet. To this day, it is not clear whether or not these rumors are true. Number 2. Brian Jones this founding member of the Rolling Stones was found dead around midnight of July 2, 1969 at the bottom of his swimming pool. Although his girlfriend claimed that he had a pulse when he was pulled out of the water, when the doctors arrived, he was pronounced dead, with the official report being classified as death by misadventure. Very soon after Jones died, different stories about his death started circulating. Some of the people who were quite close to him had claimed they had evidence that Jones was, in fact, murdered. There was even a claim that Jones was killed by a man who was working around the house, Frank Thorogood. As the story goes, Thorogood later admitted that he killed Brian Jones, and he allegedly told all this to the Rolling Stones driver, Tom Keelock. But Keelock later denied the whole thing. There are also allegations that some senior police officers were involved in a cover-up trying to hide the actual cause of Jones's death. Number 1. Tupac Shakur Tupac Shakur was shot in Las Vegas on September 7, 1996, and died six days later from his wounds. In 2014, the police officer who allegedly witnessed Shakur's final moments claimed that Tupac, in a true gangster spirit, refused to say who was shooting at him. Instead of revealing the identity of the shooter, Shakur simply told the policeman, F you. However, other people who were present at the time do not recall hearing Tupac say anything like this. To this day, it is unclear who actually killed Tupac. Some claim that the murder was actually a gang-motivated crime as a revenge for the beating of a gang member. But the real conspiracy behind Shakur's murders comes with the idea that he didn't die at all, but in fact staged his own death. Many people claim to have seen Tupac over the years and that he is still alive and well. Whether those are simply his lookalikes, doubles, or mere coincidences will probably remain the stuff of legend. Tell us about some mysterious celebrity deaths that you can think of in the comments below. Click on that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all of these mysteries. Later!